morning. Good morning. Yeah, I, I, I should say the three amigos, uh, <laughs> you, myself, and Didi. That's right. Uh, yeah, that, it would be right unless we had Didi in here. Hey, that's it, man. He's, 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 he's right up front bringing us in, setting it down, and uh, it's a marvelous Monday. is the day the Lord has made and that's why we call it a marvelous Monday for we know as the Apostle Peter writes to us that he hath called us out of darkness into the marvelous light to show forth his excellences, his virtues, his praise, having made us a royal priesthood, a, a, a chosen generation, his special people to do that very thing. What great goodness, kindness, and love Father God bestows upon us for us to be able to enjoy each day by his own design. I remind you, as we often have <clears throat> over the years, that Jesus said in St. John 10.10, 10, there's a thief that comes to steal and kill and destroy, but there is a uh, 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 emphatic but in that St. John 10.10 10, that says that I have come that you might have life in it more abundantly or to just simply have a life by God's design filled with his purpose and plans and to live it to the fullness to overflowing. Well, overflowing life is yours today as you embrace God's gift of love and his kindness towards you by Christ Jesus and you live and you walk in it. It's so important to face each day and to seize each day <clears throat> as a new day. When Jesus taught them to pray in Matthew chapter six, he says, give us this day our daily bread. That means that God has fresh provision and sustenance for you and I every single day that is tailor-made for the day that is in front of us, the day that will sustain us and empower us. The Apostle Paul, writing in the ninth chapter of uh, Corinthians, declares that he is able to make all grace abound towards you and I, such that we have all sufficiency in all things that are bound to every good work and then he goes on to say that he that provides both bread to eat and seed to sow, multiply your seed sown and increase the fruits of your righteousness. So then the sufficient grace of God for us each day provides bread to eat. Notice that bread is for our sustenance and for that of our homes and families and our well-being. But then also he said he provides seed to sow. You know what? It's important for us to enjoy the bread, but also realize that God in his infinite wisdom and plan and purpose and work also gives you seed each day. And as much as we are content and intent to enjoy the bread that he supplies, we should also recognize the seed and sow the seed and use that seed according to his purpose and plan and will in our lives and the lives of others. And we often say this, that seeds uh, of life are simply our thoughts, our words, and our actions. How do you think about yourself and the day? To think intentionally, to say things intentionally and speak them over your life and family and children and uh, your city and uh, the thing, your business and the things that you're involved in to act intentionally and not only do that, but do that where others are concerned. 
that we might together build one another up. What happens when we do that? Well, there in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, he said, he then multiplies our seed sown and increase the fruits of our righteousness. What a good deal that is for us, that not only does he give us the seed, but when we use the seed for seed, he multiplies that seed and increase the fruit of our lives, and we benefit, the kingdom of God benefits, and others benefit as well. Hey, today, friend, let us receive his new mercies. Let's walk in his grace, eat the bread, sow the seed, and see God's increase on our lives. Hey, I'd like to wish my mother, Lula Burroughs, a very happy 86th birthday. Still going strong and got good genes. And we celebrate you today, mama. Sending some mama love on this April the 4th to my mom. Happy 86, mom. Hey, remember this. Together, you and I are the difference that make the difference as we awaken to God's purpose of knowing him and his love for us and mobilized his mission of making him known and sharing his love with others. That's good news on this marvelous Monday morning, Pete. Well, Pastor, man, I tell you what, man, you, you, you sound good, man. You got the week started off so good, man. I can't stand it. Hey, but, uh, but, but we, we look forward to hearing you again in the morning with, with another Christ in Action broadcast, and I look forward to talking to you and with you. Yes, sir. Blessings on you and the Gospel Explosion family. Lord willing, we'll talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye for All now. All right. You have a great one, Pastor. Yes, sir. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. Well, hey, we go in the strength and the ability of God Almighty today. Our God is an awesome God, and he's an awesome God to in and through you and I today. Seize the day. For this is the day that his Lord has made. Rejoice, be glad in it. He made the day, he made you. Look for his exceeding abundant above and beyond. Uh, all that you can think or ask. Goodness, loving kindness, and tender mercies. His provision for this day. And oh, by the way, don't forget to pass it on to others. It'll do you good. Bye-bye for now.